Hello, I'm Jenny. I'm a technician here at Westgate Pet Clinic. Today we are going to discuss diabetes, the symptoms, the treatment, and the goals of treatment. We will also discuss how to give an injection, as well as feeding your pet and monitoring your pet for concerns or complications. Diabetes is defined as the inability to regulate blood sugar because the body is not producing enough insulin. Insulin is a hormone that is produced in the pancreas, an organ that sits near the stomach. When your pet eats food, the sugar or carbohydrates in that food is converted to glucose inside the cells. This provides energy for the body. Insulin attaches to the outside of the cell and opens the cell wall like a gate. This allows the sugar to leave the bloodstream and enter the cell. When there is not enough insulin, the sugar remains in the bloodstream and cannot be used for energy. This will create a high blood sugar level. Cats typically have type 2 diabetes. This means they can produce insulin, but not enough for their size or weight, or for the current food they are eating. This type of diabetes has a high rate of reversal or remission. The symptoms of diabetes include increased thirst and urination, increased appetite, and weight loss. Untreated diabetes in cats can result in very weak back legs. This is called diabetic neuropathy. Oftentimes, pets are eating well, but losing weight. This is because the lack of insulin is not letting the blood sugar go into the cells to be used for energy, making the pet feel like they're starving. Also, the kidneys are removing the excess sugar by increasing urination. The increased urination results in excessive fluid loss from the body. This fluid loss causes the pet to feel thirsty, therefore increasing the amount they drink. The goals of treatment typically include a weight loss program, followed by keeping a healthy, stable weight. We want to see stable eating and drinking habits and a blood glucose level near the range of 200 to 280. The materials that you will need to give your cat an injection include your insulin, insulin syringes, and a Sharps container or a BD safe clip device. There are different concentrations of insulin and different syringes for each concentration. It is very important that you use the correct syringe for your cat's insulin. If you use the wrong type of syringe, your cat could receive the wrong amount of insulin, which can be very dangerous. It is important to give the insulin at the same time every day and that you never adjust the dose of insulin without the instruction of your veterinarian. You will want to keep the insulin in the refrigerator. Never allow it to sit at room temperature. The syringes are marked with dashes. Each dash represents one unit. Remove the safety cap from the plunger of the syringe. Next, remove the colored cap from the needle. Pull the plunger back to the number of units the veterinarian prescribed for your cat. Today, we are going to inject four units of Galargine insulin, so we will pull the plunger back to the four unit mark. Insert the needle into the top of the insulin vial and push the plunger all the way in to inject air. With the needle still inserted, turn the vial upside down to draw up the appropriate number of units. Look to make sure the needle is all the way submerged into the vial. Now slowly pull back the plunger, but this time pull back a few units past the dose. You can see that I am drawing about 8 units into the syringe. While you still have the needle inserted into the vial, look for any air bubbles in the syringe. If you see any, gently tap the syringe on the side to release them. Now slowly push the plunger back to the prescribed dose, in this case, four units. Take your finger off of the plunger and pull the needle out of the vial. Recap your needle with the colored cap to protect it until you are ready to use it. The syringe is now ready for the injection. Most people are nervous about giving their cat an injection, but it is actually an easy thing to do. When you are ready to give the injection, place your cat on a stable surface. Protect your cat before you begin. This will help calm you and your cat. Decide where you are going to inject your cat. It is best to alternate between the left, middle, and right scruff of the shoulders. While you are petting your cat, gently pull some skin up to form a tent for your injection. 
Now, quickly insert the needle into the fold of skin. The needle is very thin and sharp and won't harm your cat. Pull the plunger back a little bit to ensure that no blood enters the syringe. If you do see some blood in the syringe, throw it away and start with a new one. Push the plunger all the way in to inject the insulin. Then withdraw the syringe and needle from the skin. It's that easy. Now reward your cat with more petting. You will need to dispose of the syringe in an appropriate container. We have a sharps container where you can throw away the syringe with the needle attached. We also have a BD safe clip device which clips off the needle allowing the syringe to be thrown in the garbage. Both items can be brought back to the clinic for disposal. A proper diet and weight loss program is also key to the treatment of diabetes in cats. You will want to follow the doctor's instructions for the proper type and amount of food. Improving the environment to increase movement and activity can also help to attain the desired weight. Your cat will be transitioned to a high protein, low carbohydrate diet. Prescription canned food is the best way to achieve this combination because most dry foods are too high in sugar and carbs. If your cat won't eat canned food, we have a handout with suggestions for transitioning to canned food. Or we can discuss the prescription dry diabetic foods that are available. Diabetic cats should have food given to them twice a day. This will allow you to observe if your cat is eating. It is okay for your cat to graze on this food throughout the day. If your cat is eating, then it is okay to administer the insulin. Never give your cat its dose of insulin if you are suspicious that they haven't eaten anything in the last 12 hours or that they are not feeling well. If the insulin is given when your cat has not been eating or is not feeling well, your cat can become hypoglycemic. Signs of hypoglycemia or low blood sugar include staggering, being disoriented, falling over, extreme lethargy, dazed or being non-responsive, and in extreme cases, seizures or coma. These are all emergency situations and your cat should be seen immediately by a veterinarian. You will want to keep a bottle of Caro syrup on hand for such an emergency. You can rub some syrup on your cat's gums if possible to help increase their blood sugar level. Immediately bring your cat to the clinic where we can assess and treat appropriately. During the treatment of diabetes, you will want to observe your pet's patterns of appetite, drinking, and urination. We will ask you to bring your cat in for follow-up blood glucose monitoring. This is typically done six to eight hours after the insulin injection. Remember that your veterinarian and technicians are your most important resource for information. Never hesitate to call us about your cat's treatment or condition. We hope that this video has been helpful and informative. Thank you for watching.